<clears throat> Another thing you said was living a lie, a life, not a lie, <laughs> living a life that is free of punishment. Yes. And when you start connecting freedom, it's like how can we control you so that you can, I can give you freedom. Mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And so there's that whole thing, you say living a life that's free of punishment, I'm thinking, well, all my life I was brought up that if you do this, you get rewarded. If you don't do this, it's punishment time. Right. Uh, two things. Uh, the first thing is that it is living a life free of the fear of being punished. And the other thing is that there's a difference between consequences and punishment. Okay. And so when, you know, if I touch a hot stove, uh, you know, I get burned, but yeah. I'm not being punished. That's a consequence yes. for uh, defying a physical law, yes. you know, if you will. If I jump off the roof and break both my legs, God's not punishing me because I did something foolish. Yeah. I'm just experiencing the reality yeah. of a foolish choice. Yeah. Many people who have been trained in the fear of punishment begin to equate consequences as punishment. Okay. So that God is hurting me because I angered him. Instead of, I am getting a fine from the bank because I wrote a check that against money I didn't have. Right, it's okay. not God's yes. punishment or God's wrath against me. I'm not being corralled yes. by an angry God. I am experiencing consequences mm -hmm. from, you know, good or bad consequences. And they may be painful. Commonly, they are. But I learn from that. But I have to be able to remove, is God loving me still while I'm in this, this pain? Or is God happy that I'm experiencing this pain. Okay. Because in many, many cases, as, as a, in a parenting model, we experience with our parents that our parents were actually inflicting the pain because they were, uh, they were angry with us.